Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel. My name is Charmaine, and thanks for joining me today. I am going to be doing, I'm going to be designing that bag that you saw in my thumbnail. I purchased that bag from Target, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. These are the images that I'm going to use. I'm only going to do, as you see, this is the image that I use on that bag. I'm, I'm going to do another bag with this image later. And then, um... I'm going to show you, how, for the beginners, I'm going to show you how I went on here to upload the images by just going to get my other SVG for my text, okay? So I could, you know, type in blessed, but I was being lazy because I didn't feel like, really like, I didn't feel like finding the font, looking for the font, all that kind of stuff, but you can get it from right here. The fonts are right here. You can, you can pick a font, something like this. Let me see. Something like this. Then you have to bring it together, size it up, and all that kind of stuff, but I was being lazy, y'all. I wanted to purchase my font. And I've, I've seen a, a nice one on Etsy, so let's go ahead and get that one. I'm going to upload, browse, and I save um, everything in my desktop under my Cricut Cameo files. If you want to know how I saved all my things, all my files, I have a video on how I grouped up my files and how I saved them and how I cleaned up everything in here, okay? So check that video out. Okay, I go to my text files. I have a lot of files, so people always ask me, where do you get these files from? I have no clue because I have so many of them. As you can see, all those folders are filled with files. I purchase them. I got some off of Google. I get them from Coco Twins. I go to, from um, this site. It's spelled M-U-J-K-A clipartscom And I will link that below. And if also, if you go to that um site, you will receive 20% off right now. Okay? So check. um, But you got to click on the link below under, my, under this video. Okay? So again, it's M-U-J-K-A clipart.com and did not give you the code if you click on that link you'll see the code that you use to get 20% off your um purchase okay so let me go ahead and go to my the one I just purchased blessed right here okay so I like the way this font looks so I went on here to purchase that even though I could did it myself so I got that off of Etsy so I go ahead and push insert image insert so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and Click the eye over here on the right hand side. It's not going to be, it's going to be de deleted from my page, but it's still going to be here. I can use it later, okay? But I don't want to interfere with this right now. I don't want to cut this right now or this. I'm going to go ahead and push the eye right here. Oh, I'm sorry, it's the wrong one. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. It's highlighted right here. Click the eye. I don't want to do that right now. In my bag, the face I want to be an eight and a half by eight and a half, okay? So let me go up here and change the size to an 8.5 by. 8.5 okay so that's her face that's what size i want in the bag because the bag measure 16 by 13 so eight and a half by eight and a half would be good enough for me okay so let me see i might want to make a little i do like this then eight by eight and a half okay because i want her face i don't want her face to be too round so i'm gonna do an eight and a half i'm gonna unlock this right here so make sure i do it so eight by eight and a half is what I want to do. So she wants to be so round. I want a little narrow face. Okay. So there we have it. So then blessed, I want the, the word blessed to be so eight point. I mean, okay, this is eight by 2.083. That's fine. Okay. When it comes in SVG, it's going to be pieces. Now, if you're going to change the color in the glasses, then you want to make sure it's ungrouped. Okay. You want to change the earring, you need to ungroup it in the lips. But I want to keep it all the same color because I'm going on a, 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 like a champagne color bag. So I want everything to be black. Okay. Now I just go ahead and make it. And since we're doing, um, and then sometimes Cricut has it close to the red line, and you don't want the Cricut, Cricut don't care, so they they had to cut the, the hair will cut right there. So I just bring it over some, so I make sure it won't get cut with that red. Make sure it's in, in between the red line and not touching the red line. So we are going to use heat transfer vinyl or iron or however you want to call it. Heat transfer is um pronounced well HTV or heat transfer vinyl or either iron on. So you go ahead and push continue, and it's just finding my maker. I have not used um, heat transfer yet on in my um, for my maker yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to browse all materials, and I'm gonna go to categories, and I'm gonna go to iron on. Okay, so here it is, glitter iron on, and I'm gonna go ahead and favor it, click it, and push done. So now it's telling you right here, say make sure mirror turned on and materials placed bonded side on the mat. Okay, because sometimes you gotta make sure you the shiny side is basically the shiny side on the mat okay 
So make sure you don't you have the um shiny side on the mat, and then your image right here is mirrored, and then you go ahead and cut. What I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and cut it, and then I'll be back to show you how I um heat press it on the bag. I would not be using my heat press because that's just a little bit too much heat for me. And when I use like different kind of materials, like the, the material I use for the bag, I use my um Cricut Easy Press because it gives less heat, and I know I don't want the bag to burn. But you can use your heat press, but I just prefer to be safe and use my Easy Press. Okay. So let me go ahead and get everything cut out, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Here's the bag I'm going to be using. Like I said, I got it from Target. Okay, here it is. I'm going to go ahead and sit it over here. We can weed out our design. Our image is right here. It came out to be eight. It came all the way down here. And, um, well, it's 10 by, um, I, used, I cut the um vinyl 10 by 12 okay so we could eat we could either uh, weed it on our mat or we can take it off the weed i'm gonna go ahead and weed it on our mat since it's already since it's still in the mat okay let me go ahead and pull this off and i like the way um iron on weed out because it's kind of easy it's easier than a regular vinyl to me it is throw that away we don't need none of that okay, so now we're just gonna go ahead and weed out the letters I'm gonna go ahead and finish weeding this out. I'll tell you the truth, this is my first time ever reverse weeding like this. Usually I take it off my mat and do it, so I'm just trying something new today. And I've done a few few HTV, you no know, few, a lot of vinyl, a lot of HTV vinyl, but this is my first time weeding it this way. But I haven't done um vinyl in so long because I've been using my sublimation printer. So this is my first time in a, in a while doing, like I said, doing HTV. Sometimes you're gonna need your image on your computer so you can be able to see what needs to be weeded out and what needs to stay on there. Here's our face right here. Just pull this out. And be careful because sometimes, like but like I said, heat transfer vinyl is good to weed out. But sometimes when you're using the other vinyl, you'll lose an eye, a nose, and stuff like that. But just be careful. Sometimes you got to be gentle. Sometimes you can be rough with this um, heat transfer, though. It's cool. You see these small, thin lines? Okay, let's see. Get the nose. I just love, I just love this SVG. A lot of my customers like it too. They want, they want her on everything. <laughs> She's on Etsy. Just put in um Afro woman. Like I said, this is a one-on-one -on -one because some people, some people is just now getting that cricket and they want to see me weed out stuff. So this is how you weed out H, um, HTV, or you can take it off the mat and you can weed it that way too. It's up to you, however you want to do it. This is called reverse weeding. Okay, here's our image. Isn't she beautiful? Isn't she lovely? Okay, so now I'm going to just pull this off. Okay. This is how we're going to lay it on the bag just like this. It, I'm trying to make sure I keep enough plastic on there because this bag is it's like a hard, it's not, it's not a cloth material, so you don't want the milk. So this right here is protecting the bag from the heat. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the plastic on there. So yeah, we might, when we put the heat on there, it will um, heat up the, some of the glitter that's on this sheet. It will heat up on here too. So if you don't mind that, that's fine. But I just don't want to melt this bag, okay? So that's why I'm going to keep this, um, I'm not going to use the, I cut around the edges, but I'm not going to do that today. So what I'm gonna do is place it the way I want it, and I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna put some. Um, I'm gonna still use some um, butcher paper, like I said, because of the material of the bag, or you could use a sheet or pillowcase. But I'm gonna go ahead and use butcher paper. Like I, said, I did not group the word "blessed" to the picture, and it still worked out perfect. So let me go ahead and 
maneuver this. Let me make sure it's right and get my measuring tape to make sure it's straight. Make sure you don't have anything else on your paper. I think this look good. Let's go ahead and measure it from here to here. So that's like about three and a half. And that's like a little bit over here. Yeah. About three and a half. Move it over some here. Just a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my um butcher paper. And put this inside the bag to cover it from melting the inside of the bag. I'm going to put my heat on 300, my um, easy press on 300. I'm going to try to stay on this plastic, so. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put my um, mat, my easy press mat inside also. I have my heat press. It's on um, me. I have my easy press. One minute. Let me show you real quick. This is the big one. I have all three of them. <laughs> the small, the medium, and large. And make sure when you use the easy press, because I basically found this out in my, my daughter's baby shower. We, was, we did like a onesie table, and it wasn't heating up right because I plugged it into a stitching cord. So do not plug in your easy press into a stitching cord. I mean, even though I knew that, but I just forgot about it for her baby shower. It won't work. It won't heat up correctly, okay? Evenly. It won't heat up evenly. So uh, make sure you make sure you plug it right into the wall, okay? Put it on 20 seconds. I'm just going to put it on 20 seconds, and I'm going to keep on checking on it because I don't want this to melt. Okay, because you always you know, change the timing or whatever, how you want to do it. I'm going to just let it go ahead and warm up a little bit. So wait till it gets to 300. Okay. So, um, if you like the content of this video, please um, subscribe to my channel. Hit that red bell so you can be notified when I um, post new videos. Also, if you want to create the things that I that you see that I design on my channel, please check out my website, www.charminggalboutique.com. Also, I have an Etsy page, which is um, Charming Gal Boutique number two. Okay. Also, if you click on any link below this video, the Amazon link or either that clip art ink link, the clip art ink is called, I'm going to spell it out for you because it's kind of hard to pronounce. It's M-U-J-K-A clipart.com. If you purchase anything from that, that um, link or my Amazon links, I do get a certain percentage for those links No, from those purchases with no extra cost to you. And also right now, if you go to that um, M-U-J-K-A clipart.com, you can get 20% off your purchase if you put in a code. And the code is M-U-K-A-F-B-20. Everything is below. You'll be able to see what the code is, everything below this video. So just click on that link. You can only do use that code when you click on that link that's below this video, okay? She has a nice, nice clip arts. I love it. I love her arts. And sometimes she has a lot of free stuff on her site also, too. So check her out. Really nice. So I'm still letting this heat up. It's, it's, um, make sure it's to 300. I'm letting it heat up. Like I said, I have all three easy presses and I also have two heat presses. So <laughs> I just feel safer. I just feel safe using the um, heat press, using the um, Cricut Easy Press than my heat press. Because I do not want to melt this bag. And my heat presses are powerful, y'all. But it can be done with the heat press. So don't be, don't say you can't do it because you don't have a heat press. I mean, you don't have a um, Cricut Easy Press. Just put your your heat press really low, probably like on two, three, still 300 or 250. And just keep on checking it. Heat it up for like a couple minutes. Well, probably about... A couple seconds i'm sorry heat it up for a couple seconds and then check on it and just keep on checking on it because you can move the heat press off and on on your vinyl but you can't do that with um sublimation okay but vinyl it won't hurt your vinyl but you don't want to burn your vinyl or you don't want to burn your bag okay also check out my groups i have two groups brown girls craft with cricket on facebook and um sublimation blanks and creations on um facebook we do a lot of different things on them, them on them pages. We help each other out. We learn different techniques, and I I learn from my group with members also. Okay, the latest on here is already heated up, so I'm gonna put it lit. Let me see how. Let's see how close it is. Probably about right to here. And lay it on here. And just go ahead and push the C. And 
it don't, it don't matter if you move it because it's just it's vinyl but you can't move when you sublimate okay you can't move your heat press when you sublimate just give a little bit of pressure okay well that's really hot okay so it's still it's hot so i'm gonna just let it sit for a little while Sorry, my son in the background. He's so into them doggone games. He's in my nerves. I'm just letting turn it off. I'm going to go ahead and do the word bless a little bit more. Just a couple seconds. Two, three, four, five, six. Just a little bit. Because I want to make sure it hit, hit the bottom of that page. Okay? I think that should be enough, y'all. Because... So, I'm just going to let it cool off a little bit. Then you can always check and see if it's done. Just go ahead and bring it back some. And if it lifts up, that means it's not done. But it's it's really it's really good. Twenty seconds did this really good. Okay. Twenty yeah, twenty seconds did it really good, and it's really on here. Okay. We don't want to do it too much because it will fade the bag a little bit. You see how with the heat a little bit it did the bag a little bit, but it's still fine. But it's gonna do that because it's heat. Okay. But you can see that but it is so beautiful isn't that beautiful let's take this out that is beautiful i'm gonna do a few more different i have different colors let me show you the different colors that i have you go to target see i didn't even have to heat that i didn't even have to heat that no more down here because you can see how the heat it did it in a little bit more but it's still it's still it's still nice and after it heat, um, warm up after it cools off it'll be it'll be okay but um, 20 seconds would be a good enough for that heat press. Okay, let me tell you, show you some more colors. I have the um, blue bag, and I also have the gold bag. Okay, get these at Target. You can see this little the little PC on here. It's only like seven dollars at Target. I don't know if you can see that with my my ring light. Yeah, that's it right there. There you go. Target. Okay. Seven dollars a week. Um. So thanks for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed. Please, please, please. If you think, if you um learned from this video, if you thought this video was interesting, please give me a thumbs up to let me know that you are um you like the videos and you like the um content of my videos. Okay. So I'm go ahead and get started. Do some more videos. I'm gonna get started on some more bags, and I'll see you next time. Be blessed.